This illustration deals with conductors in accordance with uh, 310.3. Uh, uh, the purpose of the change was to provide a revision. A revision uh, was made to clarify that the minimum size of conductors for voltage ratings up to and including 2,000 volts should be number 14 copper and copper clad aluminum or 12 AWG aluminum or copper clad, except as permitted elsewhere in the National Electrical Code. Now, this section has been relocated from 310.106A in the 2017 National Electrical Code. Now, first I would like to review the ungrounded phase conductors. What color could they be? Well, they could be uh, any color except white, gray, or green, as we know is required in 310.6C and uh, 210.5C, depending if you're a feeder or you know a branch circuit uh, is how that would be uh, identified. And if you wanted to see exactly how insulation uh, can be used, then you would uh, review 310.10A through D, and you'll pick up dry, damp, wet, conductors exposed to the sunlight and everything there. But the great uh, part about it is that 310.10A through AD will tell you where that insulation uh, can be used. And if you look at 310.10C, it will uh, refer you uh, uh, over to 210.5C for branch circuits, but it would send you for feeders to 215.12C to, to uh, determine what color you could use on those ungrounded uh, conductors. Now, if you look at number two, up above, up at the very top of the illustration, we deal with the grounded conductor, neutral or corner ground. Now, that's important. Now, to get your references, you can go to 310.6A, and it would refer you to 200.6A for your uh, color coding or your identification, and 210.5A again for the branch circuit, but for, uh, say, your uh, feeder, it would send you over uh, to 215.12. To pick that up. Now, uh, number three is your equipment grounds. And you see that it's the middle call out uh, equipment grounding conductor. And then notice uh, the color code green or green with yellow stripes or bare is uh, there based upon the size of the conductor. And again, 310.6B is going to refer you to 210.119 to get the color coding for that. And then again, 210.5B if you're a, uh, a branch circuit. And then the main thing that you want to very carefully re uh, review is that your Article 310, when you look right underneath the facility here, uh, been completely reorganized. And you really have to look at that careful because uh, high voltage conductors over 1,000 volts now is in a new Article 311. The, those tables are not there anymore, so you got to know where to go look this stuff up, but we'll be talking about that. Uh, for wiring in an exit enclosure, uh, requiring separation, remember we looked at uh, that, uh, we'll review it, 300.25, we kind of looked at that. But now, uh, I would remind you that if you're looking at wiring in air handlers, uh, such as under uh, raised floors and so forth, Look at 300.22D and 645.4 uh, and 5E uh, e as in Ed. But when you're dealing with uh, uh, air handlers, uh, ducts, uh, uh, spaces for return air and so forth, go to 300.A, B, C, and D and you'll pick that up and you, you get a good feeling where you can use this insulation, where you can't, where you need to use special insulation based upon where you're routing these conductors. Now, uh, I believe I've kind of covered this in uh, detail for you, so uh, uh, review it very carefully when you're routing these conductors because uh, there are special rules now. Uh, it's not uh, color coding. It's color coding for sizes number six and smaller, 
But number four and larger is just identification. So read that very carefully, and then you'll be up to date on what has taken place. The uh, note uh, uh, one now tells you that the minimum size of the conductors for voltage ratings up to 2,000 volts should be number 14 for AWG copper and copper clad aluminum or number 12 for aluminum or copper clad aluminum is outlined in 310.3a. Now they're giving you uh, the specific requirements here so that we don't make mistakes. And the note two says, hey, if you want to know how to use this insulation, go to 310.10 and it will tell you exactly uh, the type of insulation you would have to use in damp, uh, dry, or wet locations or exposed to the sun.